Today we will be showing you how to use idea boards. Idea boards is a community based tool that allows users to add sticky notes known as ideas and collaborate with other students, teachers, peers, locally or globally. There's two ways to access idea boards. If you are making your own board or if you are viewing someone else's board that's already been made. If you're making your own board and want to get to the website, use either Chrome, Firefox, or Safari to look up idea boards. I'm using Chrome here. The first one from your search results is the website. To create your own board, you can create an account if you would like. However, this is optional. From the main page, you select create and are prompted with the name, description, and formatting options for your board. If you are ac accessing someone else's board, the link can be shared to anyone to contribute on the board. From there, just put the link in one of the browsers as we listed earlier and the idea board will come up. You can add your own ideas to the sections on the already created board. Also, you can see what your teachers or peers have added to the board as well. You can add as many ideas as you want to the board in whichever sections you want to. You can filter through the ideas from the top right section. If you see an idea that you agree with, you can also thumbs it up. Creators of the idea boards can save or export their idea boards as a PDF or Excel. Idea boards allow students and teachers to collaborate and engage in meaningful discussion from any setting, whether that be in the classroom or virtually at home. This tool is easy to understand for new users. However, our one critique is that idea boards could work on its user accessibility. Idea boards can work with the screen re reader. However, it is not a simple setup and you cannot change the font size of the text on each board. The overall objective is to have fun and learn collaboratively with your classmates. This tool should inspire students to learn in a new and innovative way. 